Forget she was a librarian. Forget that she was a writer of children's books. She was an educator. She was born with that. She had the gift of a voice that was unbelievable. She narrated, sobre todo, para niños, y sabía que había que pintar con las palabras, decirlo de tal modo de que el niño pudiera imaginar ese suceder. that I heard from my, my grandmother's lips was uh, La Cucarachita Martina y el Ratoncito Pérez. Pérez and Martina has been my golden key. It's been opening doors for me everywhere. You read these stories, it's a different experience than reading Hans Christian Andersen or reading The Brothers Grimm. Pérez and Martina is a hysterical. It, it's hysterical, but it has a really brutal and horrible ending. It is just a fundamentally unique experience to read about characters that you can identify with. The audiences were just, they hungered for this. Every child deserves to be able to see his family, his community, himself, herself validated. At the same time, they all need windows they need to know about other worlds. She brought people to the magical folk that came from her culture. She was proud of it and she was beloved. The fact that she was a pioneer as a librarian, a pioneer as a, a folklorist, a pioneer with dramatizing her stories, using puppets. If you just read what she published, you would only have uh, a fraction of a very skewed view of what she was writing. Um, but thank goodness we have her archives here.